Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. In this video, I'm going to discuss my beloved Patricia Wentworth and her Miss Silver series. So I recently-ish finished the Miss Silver series written by Patricia Wentworth and I love it so, so much. And I often get asked, where should I begin with Patricia Wentworth? So I thought I'd do where to start and favorites, Patricia Wentworth, Miss Silver series. So I should say that Patricia Wentworth not only has written this Miss Silver series, she's written a bunch of other books as well, um, including lots of standalone crime. So that is something else to consider, but in this video, we're just gonna be talking about the Miss Silver series. So I'm going to be talking about my journey with Patricia Wentworth and then where you should start reading her, why you should start reading her books and my favorites. So getting into it, how did I get into Patricia Wentworth, Miss Silver? Well, it was a few years ago now and I can't remember, I was either finishing Agatha Christie or I'd finished Agatha Christie's work. So I've read all of Agatha Christie that she wrote as Agatha Christie. Um, so plays, short stories, novels, Poirot Marple, you get the idea. And I was either coming to the end, I can't remember, I can't remember if I was coming to the end and I literally had a few left or I had read them all, can't quite remember. Either or, um, I was at that point and I was like, right, I'm going to be rereading Agatha Christie because I love her, but I'd like something to take that space sort of thing, to take that void of something new, um, which is a bit weird for me because I love rereading, so, but I wanted it. <laughs> so I started researching uh, contemporaries of Agatha Christie. I wanted people that were writing at the same sort of times, so the interwar period, um, and names came up that you expect. So Sayers, who I love, Marsh, Allingham, you know the ones, uh, Tay, um, and I was like, yeah, 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 and then up uh, popped Wentworth, and I thought, right, I will read a little snippet from each of these, and I did, and as soon as I read Wentworth, I was like, yes, <laughs> because Wentworth writes a bit like Agatha Christie, which I'll get to later, so I was like, yes, I will start there, and I started with the first book in the Miss Silver series, which um, I'm not gonna lie, is not the best one, um, but this is Grey Mask, and I have it in this really beautiful edition. This was first published in 1928, so it is really quite early. And this is where we first meet Miss Silver, um, but she's not in it a lot. And I remember I read it and I gave it two stars, and I was like, hmm. The thing that gave it the two stars was the writing. If the writing wasn't as good as it was, I would have just given it one star. Um, but the writing was really good and there was something about it. So I carried on and read the next one, Case is Closed. And that one I gave three stars. I was like, it's getting better. And then I got to Lonesome Road and that was a four star for me. And then I kept going and then I, I I did get to a point where I thought, if I don't reach a five star fit soon, I think I will stop, but then I did, and I read The Chinese Shawl, which was my first five star from Patricia Wentworth, and this book was spectacular. So, that is where I started. I've now read all of the Miss Silver mystery series, which is over 30, so it's kind of a similar amount as the Agatha Christie Poirot ones, so if you wanna get your hands into them, very, very nice. There's lots of material there for you. Um, and my journey with Patricia Wentworth going forward is I'm now going to reread some of these. That's going to be a new journey for me. And also I'm going to read her others. Um, these ones are published by Hodder, but Dean Street Press have got hold of her other ones, so her standalones and um, other detectives, and they have reprinted those. So luckily, you can still get her stuff, so that's really, really good. So that's my journey then and going forwards. Um, you're probably thinking, why should I read Patricia Wentworth? Well, let me give you a few reasons ready. So first of all, I love the plots. The plots of these books are wonderful. They're quite imaginative, they're quite thought-provoking, they do think outside the box. I think when it comes to plots, Agatha Christie is always going to be queen, but there is some here that I think is so, so, so good and just wonderful. The next reason you should read her is 
her characters. Her characters are great. There is some reoccurring characters um, like Lamb and Abbott and they're wonderful. They're, they're with the police. Um, but her standalones are actually really quite built as well and they're not cardboard characters. They, they really work and actually they interconnect and lots of books you'll find that there'll be a mention of another person from another book and it's just ever so slight so you don't need to read them in order but it's just nice that there's that connection there and I like how there's these characters that you love to hate and you know there's some really good baddies in there and there's some ones that you really like yeah go for it because these books as well as being crime they do have this kind of slither of romance touch throughout them as well and I do really really quite like that. Uh, as well as the fact that of course Miss Silver's in it and Miss Silver is an amazing character. If you like Miss Marple you will like Miss Silver. They're very similar in a lot of ways but actually I do think Miss Silver's kind of like this hybrid between Poirot and Marple. Um, so Miss Silver has a flat in London similar to Poirot. Um, she is a retired governess and when someone comes into her case she gets an old like exercise book. You know the exercise books that you had at school? <laughs> yeah? Um, so she gets one of those out of the pencil and that's how she writes her notes. She's very Victorian in the way that she looks and dresses and she loves to knit and she's got this cough that she does <clears throat> every so often and in it was in the Catherine wheel I think that at the beginning Patricia Wentworth wrote this thing at the beginning and said I know you're concerned about her, but honestly, it's fine. It's just part of her personality, <laughs> the reason why she does a cough. But I love how she works because she's really approachable and uh, that really works because people do tell her stuff. But um, also she looks at things that people don't look at. Like there is a book, I won't say which one, but Patricia Wentworth, Smith Silver, works out who does it based on the character's clothing like the way that they're dressed, the style of their dress. It's like, they did it. And it's like, it was so good. And it's this kind of like psychology meets human nature and human behavior. And I really, really like it. So yeah, read it for Miss Silver. She is fantastic. But I would say lots of you probably come to this video because you read Agatha Christie. And I would say, if you like Agatha Christie, you will like Patricia Wentworth. The writing is very, very similar. Again, I still think Agatha Christie probably still has the edge but I do think Patricia Wentworth writes amazingly well like Agatha Christie in the sense of says a lot by using very little words and I think that is wonderful and it doesn't feel difficult to read it doesn't feel overworked it just runs and it's so easy to read one of her books in one sitting it just is spectacular oh, so hopefully you're now intrigued and you want to pick up some of these books so where should you start? Now, if you're like me and you want to read everything by Miss Silver's Patricia Went by Patricia Wentworth's Miss Silver, then okay, perhaps start with Grey Mask. But know that the first few are not her best. And just bear that in mind that it's gonna be, you know, the very like two and three stars. They're not they're not gonna be blowing your socks off, okay? So you can start there. If you just want to read uh, a couple of handfuls of the really good ones, then perhaps start with Lonesome Road. This one is, I would say, the best earlier one. Miss Silver's in it a lot more. It's quite an action-packed one, that one. Or if you just want to read the best of the best, let me share with you three favourites of mine. Now, when I was picking my favourites off the shelf, I was having quite a difficult time because there's so many and I was like, no, I can't do that. Let's just pick three. Pick three, Lil. So I have picked three. So first of all, The Chinese Shawl. The Chinese Shawl is about a woman called Tannis Lyle who is liked by lots of men because she's very, very beautiful and lots of women are very jealous of her and she's not liked by others. And of course she gets bumped off and it's wonderful, it's so, so good. Uh, then we have The Silent Pool. This is about a woman called, is it Adriana? Yes, it's Adriana Ford. She's an, uh, she was an actress, she's quite famous. And she thinks that um, attempts are being made for her life. She thinks people are trying to kill her. And so she goes to Miss Silver and she's just like, this is happening, I'm gonna throw this party. And Miss Silver's like, don't throw the party. And what does she do? 
she throws a party. And then it ends up that someone gets murdered that was wearing Adriana's um, coat. So they think it's someone trying to kill Adriana. It's like, what's the point? Just listen. <laughs> and then um, I couldn't not talk about this one because I think this is very Agatha This is Poison in the Pen. Um, and this one is similar to The Moving Finger, which is an Agatha Christie Miss Marple in which there's a poison pen writer and then an apparent suicide from that poison pen writer. Um, and then Miss Silver goes in to investigate, but it's, it's a whole can of worms. And what I love about this one that I don't about The Moving Finger is that Miss Silver is in it all the way through. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and I absolutely love it. And the ending was fantastic. So those are my favorites well few of them because there's so many but um yeah i hope that has helped you um to get going with reading patricia mcmurth miss silver and i hope that you love her books as much as i do and um just enjoy them because they're wonderful and for me she's a really underread author and i know some of you have already read them and you've really enjoyed them so I'm very very pleased but um yes let me know how you get on reading Patricia Wentworth in the comments below have you read any already if so what did you make of them do you enjoy them as much as I do thank you so much for watching this video take care and I shall see you soon for the next one bye for now